boys and girls, and welcome to story time. Today's story time theme is the Dewey Decimal. And the Dewey Decimal system is for organizing the content of a library based on the division of all knowledge into 10 groups, with each group assigned 100 numbers. For instance, manatees. And it shows where this book is found. It's found in J. 599.55 Do you know Dewey? Exploring the Dewey Decimal System, written by Brian Cleary. Do you know Dewey? Neville Dewey loved to read when he was very small. But libraries were so mixed up, they brought no joy at all. And that's why little Meville would grow up to make a system to organize those stacks of books and classify and list them. The Dewey Decimal System keeps nonfiction in its place. Books are grouped by subject, such as art or outer space. This system mainly covers books on topics that are real, people, things, and places jammed with factual appeal. For instance, if you're searching for a book all by yourself about the internet, you wouldn't look on every shelf. Instead, you'd check the numbers at the end of all the rows. You want the section labeled with the zeros or the O's. The section marked 100s is the one that you'd look through to find a book that tells us why we act the way we do. It offers books explaining dreams and feelings. Others tell of optical illusions or of places ghosts may dwell. through the 200s and you'll find religion here. Holy books for Christians, Muslims, Jews, and more appear. There are books to help you study, understand, and probe beliefs and faiths of people living all around the globe. Social sciences are next, and this 300 sections Got topics such as government and money and elections, scouting and the military, books on education, customs, costumes, etiquette, and also transportation. In shelves marked with 400s, you'll see books on every kind, on language from the written and the spoken to the signed. Look up hieroglyphics and discover what they mean. Perhaps they'll lead you to the tomb of some Egyptian queen. All of the 500s cover science and mathematics, perhaps to both chemistry and algebra fanatics, along with those enthusiasts of weather birds and bees dinosaurs, volcanoes, stars, and oceans, plants, and trees. But what about inventions, pets, our bodies, and disease, or cooking? The 600s is the home for all of these. Want to know about the parts in each kitchen appliance? For all of this, and spaceships too, look here in Applied Science. In arts, that's 700s. You'll find books on figure skating, art and sports and fishing terms like rod and reel and baiting. Motown, Mozart, Ellington and Beatles and the blues 
along with most activities that you might ever choose. Peak in the 800s and you'll have all kinds of sightings of works in many languages and many types of writings. Hear speeches, plays, and poetry with something for all ages, along with puns and silly jokes and riddles filled the pages. What's in the 900s? It isn't any mystery. That's where you would look for both geography and history. Biography and travel, flags and maps of all the nations, tales of knights and castles, and exciting explorations. The Dewey Decimal System uses each distinct division to help you find nonfiction books with speed and with precision. So let the numbers lead you as they guide you through each zone and you'll be set to travel on some journey of your own. And that's the end. Boys and girls, we find the Dewey Decimal System in public libraries, and we also find them in school libraries. So let's go to school. Let's go to school. Let's take that bus to school. Help me to sing, the wheels on the bus go round and round. Are you ready? Here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town the doors on the bus go open and shut open and shut open and shut the doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town the people on the bus go up and down Woo! up and down up and down the people on the bus go up and down all through the town the wipers on the bus go swish 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 Swish, 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 the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. Oh, guess what, boys and girls? The driver on the bus says, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back. Move on back, the driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. Well, the babies on the bus go, wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go, wah, 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 all through the town. And the mama on the bus says, shh, 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 shh. The mamas on the bus go, shh, 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 all through the town all through the town all through the town cause the wheels on the bus go round and round round and round round and round the wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town all through the town Busy People, Liberian, written by Ando Twin. Rita is a Liberian. She loves working at the library. Lots of people visit every day to learn something new, research something old, or to read for fun. But today is a very special day. The library is five years old, which means they are having a, what do you think they're having, boys and girls? They're having a party. The library is full of people who have come to celebrate. What's in the box, Rita? Asked Pat, one of the other librarians. It's a surprise, says Rita. What do you think is in the box? 
Well, lots of children have arrived for story time, but Rita notices a boy who doesn't want to come in. I don't like books, he tells Rita. Oh, says Rita. Well, do you like parties? Evan nods. Why don't you join us? We are reading all about parties today. Does anyone else like parties? She asks. Yes, they all shouted and Rita laughs. Do you like parties? I like parties. Well, first, Rita reads a book about a grumpy dinosaur who doesn't want a party for her birthday. Then she reads a book about a fancy dress party where all the costumes come to life. Finally, she reads a book about a surprise birthday party. Do any of you like surprises? Rita asks the children. Yes, they cry. Rita goes over to the cupboard and takes out the hidden box. What's in the box? Surprise, Rita shouts. Everybody sings. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear library. Happy birthday to you. Can you help me blow the candles out? says Rita. With a big puff, they blow all the candles out, just like the characters in the book they read earlier. Can you help blow the candles out? Can you blow? <gasps> Rita cuts the cake and gives everyone a piece. Evan loves cake. After the cake, Rita helps the children find books about things they like. Evan wants to go home. What's your favorite thing, Evan? Rita asks. Rocket ships, says Evan. Rita has an idea. Come with me. Rita finds a book with a huge pop-up rocket ship and all the children gather around to take a look. Evan holds the book and turns the pages while Rita reads the words. The book tells them all about planets, stars, meteorites, moons, satellites, and rockets. Evan loves the book. He learned a lot, especially about rockets and satellites going around the earth. Wow, says Evan, turning the pages. This is amazing. I'm going to find you some more books about space, says Rita. Thank you, says Evan. Rita helps Evan scan his books so that he can borrow them from the library. Beep! What do you think that is? She's scanning his book. See you next time, says Rita, smiling. Bye, Rita, and happy birthday, library, says Evan. What else does Rita do? Look at Rita. She put books away and keeps the shelves in order. She orders new books. She helps people use the computers. She finds books for people. What does Rita need? She needs a computer. She needs knowledge about the books, name tags, scanner, keys for the library. Other busy people. Here are some of the other busy people librarians work with. Authors write stories and books with lots of facts. They visit libraries to talk to children and adults about the books they write. Support workers care for and help people with learning difficulties and physical disabilities. Teachers plan school visits for the library so children can choose books they would like to borrow. Parents and caregivers visit libraries with their children to borrow books, visit authors, 
use the computers, or for activities like story time. And guess what? That's the end.